These are only some of the electronics that inhabit my room. Anything that I could find, old phones, chargers, iPods, speakers, whatever. And it will all become e-waste. When thrown out, it is separated into two different categories, reusables and secondary scrap. According to reports from 2010, 50 million tons of e-waste is produced globally. And out of that 50 million, 3 million tons is made by America, making us number one of the world. Although China falls in second place with 2.3 million tons of e-waste each year. In about a decade, this is estimated that these numbers will increase by 500%. Because America is stupid, the U.S. didn't ratify the Basel Convention, which is an international treaty that was designed to reduce the amount of hazardous waste transferred between countries, especially in less developed areas. Thus, America ships its electronic waste all the way to Gaiyu, China, America's own personal dumping ground. Located in the Shantou region, Gaiyu is the largest electronic waste processing area, getting the nickname the e-waste capital of the world. 150,000 employees work 16-hour days disassembling and collecting electrical materials. E-waste is processed by melting circuit boards, burning cable to attain copper wire, open pit acid leaching for separating metals of value and the usual incinerators and landfills. This causes environmental problems such as groundwater contamination and atmospheric pollution. The worst electronic waste is CTRs, or cathode ray tubes, because they have extremely high concentrations of lead and phosphors. And CTRs are just the thing that makes your computer and television work, so you can watch important things. A professor from Shantou University Medical School tested the blood of 165 children in the Shantou region. 82% of the children had levels of lead higher than 100, which is 10 times higher than it should be. High levels of lead could impact IQ numbers and could hinder the development of the central nervous system. So what does electronic waste contain in it? A little bit of epoxy resins, fiberglass, PCBs, PVCs, thermosetting plastic, lead, tin, copper, silicone, barium, carbon, iron, aluminum, cadmium, mercury, thallium, americum, antimum, arsenic, barium, bismuth, boron, cobalt, europium, gallium, germanium, gold, idium, lithium, magnesium, nickel, nobium, palladium. Can you see the problem? with all of these because they're the cause of cancer, memory loss, muscle weakness, reduced fertility, slower development, liver damage, kidney damage, heart damage, and just pretty much anything. Back in February 2003, the Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment Directive, or WEEE Directive, was created. This is a European community that was directed towards recycling and recovery for all types of electrical goods. The WEEE Directive has adopted this symbol that is put on certain products to show that it contains hazardous substances that should not end up in the environment, but must be disposed of in a different way. So how do I dispose of my electronics? Well, you can dispose of your electronics by bringing it to certain stores that are near you. For example, Staples and Best Buy will accept electronics that need to be recycled or disposed of properly. You can also go online to this useful website called greenergadgets.org that directs you to where you to go and how to shop greener when you buy your electronics by looking for certain labels such as the Energy Star label and the EPAT certified products. So stay smart and recycle.